My name is Mark Mercer. I'm a physician. I've been practicing emergency medicine since 2002. My experience placing central lines comes from my period of training, which was between 1998 and 2002. At that time, we were using surface landmarks in order to really estimate where you expected that vein to be. Even with ultrasound assistance, there are still challenges to placing a central line. You don't know where the tip of that needle is. You're looking at adjacent structures and the movement of those structures, such as fat, tissue, planes, as you're advancing the needle to guesstimate where that tip of that needle is. I learned about Axitrack because I was fortunate enough to know Steve Ridley, who invented the device. What interested me about Axitrack for performing central lines was that it would give me more confidence in placing the line. I know where the tip of that needle is very definitively, and that makes a big difference if you're looking to mitigate potential complications, such as hitting the adjacent artery. My training on Axitrack consisted of being shown the device, how to assemble it, watching someone do it on a Phantom model, then myself, right after that, assembling the device, trying it on a Phantom model. I recently had a, a patient that I think exemplifies the benefit of Axitrack. It wasn't my patient, it was one of my partners asked me to put a central line in a very difficult patient. It was an obese woman, so her surface landmarks were very poor in order to guide you. She also had a hemoglobin of five, was hypotensive, and on Xeralto, so at high risk of bleeding. In that case, obviously you want to do this first time, hit it, and be with confidence where you are and not hit an adjacent structure such as an artery because of the significant risk of hematoma in a person who's already compromised hemodynamically. The other issue I found once I put the ultrasound probe on, there was another challenge. Her vein was actually smaller than I would have anticipated, so I had a smaller target zone to hit. But I was able to line that target line up on screen, know where that needle was going to go, and that it was going to hit that vein. The other issue, too, is which is very unique to Axitrack, is that as I was advancing the needle, I knew where the tip of that needle was. Am I immediately adjacent to the vessel? Am I in the lumen? Now, of course, because she's hypotensive, that vessel is going to collapse some as you start putting pressure with a needle. But once I was in that vessel, I knew that I was in the mid portion of that vessel and I was able to successfully cannulate that on the first attempt. And I feel confidence in knowing where the tip of that needle is and I think that's a big deal. Exotrack clearly contributed to the accuracy of the procedure. I think that's what it brings to the game.